And welcome back, everybody. It's Tino. Totally getting schooled by Onimusha Warlords. So, let me give you a little backstory here. I'm trying to speedrun this game, and I've gotten to Marcellus. The first time that I did the run and optimized it, I did absolutely no pickups whatsoever. So no magic upgrades, no health upgrades, no nothing. Um, basically, that made the Marcellus fight unbeatable. Or at least for my skill level, I guess. Totally unbeatable. I, um, I slammed my head against that fight like 30 or 40 times. And I was starting to figure out like AI patterns and stuff like that that I could potentially exploit. And there seemed like no real way to pull it off successfully. So what I did is I have since redone the run and changed the optimization a little bit. I've factored in three magic jewels so that I have more magic capacity. Um, I also decided to upgrade my uh, wind polearm to level 2 in the hopes that um, having a little more oomph in uh, one of the weapons would help me out a little bit. And the the Shapu is one of the best weapons in the game because it hits multiple times. And the multiple hits, even though it's considered a weaker per hit weapon, make it really fantastic. So I decided to upgrade that in the hopes that it'll help me kill this boss, who's being a total jerk, and I'm really getting tired of his shit. So hopefully this time we'll be able to beat him. I've I've tried to do this video like three or four times now, thinking that I'd be able to pull it off, but it seems that the first time I tried it, which of course I didn't record, I, I got really lucky, and I managed to kill him. So, <laughs> hopefully one of these times we get it to click, and hopefully I will be recording that. Yay! I really want to get this boss beaten, because I want to start working on the final boss, figuring out what the strats are going to be. One of the other things I quote-unquote factored into the run is I also have a soul absorber, which is a really cool item that lets me essentially absorb souls from enemies before before they're dead, like while they're alive. And it works on certain bosses. Unfortunately, it doesn't work on Marcellus. So there's no reason for me to pick up two, which I actually could do in the run if I changed it around a little bit. But in this case, I'm trying to avoid that, because Marcellus you can't use a soul absorber on. So that's super. Um, basically the way that this is going to work is I need to try to retain as much magic power as possible for the second half of the fight. I still haven't figured out quite the number of hits it takes, and I'm worried a little bit that not upgrading the Thunder Orb might have screwed me yet again, but we will see. <clears throat> Um, so the first phase of the fight is essentially just two, I try to land two flame attacks in a row. And uh, the first flame attack is very easy because as long as you're spamming it hits immediately. And then you just need to bait him into an attack animation and you can hit him with the second one. Then he goes into the second form. So if I'm really lucky, I'll be able to get magic drops from the two magic attacks that I use on him. If I'm not lucky, I won't get any and I'll be forced to... Uh, forced to try and be really lucky. Okay, so that's one botched magic retrieval. Okay, so that's twice that I didn't get any magic power from him. So, before we go any further, I'm going to switch to my great armor, because for some reason in this run I forgot to do that at this point. And I think I still have one flame attack available. I do. So that's going to help for that. Now that I've done the flame, I'm actually going to switch to the electricity orb and try and put my back to the corner here. <clears throat> it seems that his AI is a little more predictable over on this side of the map. I can't explain why. And hiding in this corner seems to be my most effective strategy. <clears throat> so I can hide right here. Alright, I'm going to try and get him into a loop. Yep, we're looking good so far. 
Now jump backwards. Okay. We're gonna hit him with some of these. Ooh, four hits. That was good. Slide back. Ooh, okay. That was also pretty solid. Okay. Now I want to hide in this little corner here. And try and get him to do his shenanigans. Alright, I really need to use a medicine right now. There's actually another medicine in this room. But I hopefully am not going to need it. Oh, yes! No! Oh, God, the game lagged. I thought I had killed him. Oh, no, that's bad, because that's a hit to the face that I can't stop. Oh, yeah! I got him! Nice! Awesome. Okay, so that actually worked out pretty well. I got a decent pattern. I got, uh, I got really lucky. I'm a little excited, <laughs> because... I finally have beaten this jerk. Nice! Oh man, that is such great news. Such awesome news. Okay! Alright! Yes! So, in case anyone was wondering, that means that I have uh, finally beaten the second to last boss in the game and can now move on to the final encounter, which is really great. So let's see if we can't give the Shiden a little f bit of final love here. Make it! Oh, almost made it. Almost made it. I might have to come back up here uh, just to uh, finish that off. But let's see if this save actually went through. It did. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, yeah, actually we just made it to the final save point of the game. Basically there's one final spiral downward. And, uh, yeah, we'll be fighting the final boss. Pretty cool, gotta admit, pretty cool. And I finally, finally, am done trying to figure out how to beat Marcellus, which I am really psyched about, because that fight was just a total pain in the caboose. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, really appreciate that. And uh, you're all wonderful people, and I'll see you in the next episode. The final boss awaits. Victory is ours.